What's going on guys? Welcome to today's episode. Gotten a lot of questions on yesterday's video where I was talking about my next cycle and people were wondering why I didn't list equipoise as a good choice stacking on top of testosterone, you know, in a bulk phase, stuff like that. So what are my thoughts on equipoise? What's my experience with equipoise? That's what I wanted to talk about today as I drive to the grocery store. I've used equipoise. I used it a long time ago. Um, let's see, it was about seven or eight years ago I used equipoise. I think I, I started with a dose of about 600 and I worked my way up to 900 milligrams per week with that. I just, I don't, it's just not a very good drug. It's just not, I mean, looking at the, the numbers, the stats on it, it's just not that good. You know, it aromatizes at 50% of the amount that estrogen or that testosterone does. And I mean, that's like the only benefit is that compared to tes testosterone, it aromatizes at 50% the amount that test does but it's just as anabolic as test there's no difference there so it's basically like taking testosterone with half the estrogen however there are some other things that go on with it that are not beneficial the main thing that it does that it did to me drastically and i Unfortunately, I don't know the numbers because at that time, that long ago, I was too stupid in what I was doing and never got blood work. Like, so I don't know the exact numbers on, you know, what it did to my hematocrit, but it had to have been super high. It had to have been 60 at least. I mean, it, my that and my blood pressure was out of control unfortunately though i don't know the numbers because again i was young and dumb and and trying to figure this stuff out you know on the fly and i didn't i just didn't understand everything about all that so but the only way that i know that it was super high number one blood pressure was super high because anytime I bent over, anytime I bent over to like tie my shoes, pick something up off the floor, I could just feel the pressure in my head. My, I could literally feel like my head was going to explode. It felt like my face was going to just blow up from bending over. I could feel the blood pressure rise. I haven't felt that in a long time. Um, but equipoise did that to me. So uh, my, uh, my blood pressure had to have been something like 180 over 110 or something ridiculous because it just felt awful. And, and the more like bent over, the longer that I spent bent over, the more red my face would get. Like it would just start going beet red immediately. Like it was, it was, uh, it was a bad deal. And that that's all that I saw from it. That's all that I got from it was incredibly high blood pressure, incredibly high hematocrit based on, and, and again, I don't have the numbers because I was too stupid back then to know anything about blood work, but I mean, that's what happens when you have super high blood pressure and you have high hematocrit is when you bend over to pick something up, to tie your shoes, something like that, you feel like your face is gonna explode and you turn super red from all the blood. That's it. Like, it's just not, it was not a good time. The fact that it's not stronger than, than testosterone and it has those side effects, there's really no place for it. There's no place for it, in my opinion, in any cycle, in any stack. There's just no good reason to use it, especially when we have better options out there like NPP and, uh, and Primabolin. Like there's just no, there's no reason. There's no reason to have it at all. It's a very poorly made product. It's just not worth it from the side effects, you know, for the health standpoint. I mean, what do people say they get from it? that is positive. They're like, oh, I get more vascular. Yeah, because your fucking blood pressure is through the roof and it's 
your body's slamming blood through those blood vessels and that causes them to get thicker and, and they're forced to stretch. Like sure, if you want that, but you're dealing with I mean, you're dealing with high blood pressure and high hematocrit, and that shit is dangerous. Like, that's what kills us. That is what kills bodybuilders, high, bu high blood pressure. So that needs to be avoided at all costs. And I, I just feel that with equipoise, it's not something that is... I, I feel like that that is a super common side effect. It's not something that just, you know... A couple people experience like Deca Dick, for example. You know, not everybody gets that from Nandrolone. Not everybody gets impotence from Nandrolone, Deca, or NPP, or whatever. That's I. So I don't feel that that's something that's connected to Nandrolone. It shouldn't be connected. I feel like that happens because people have you know other shit just out of whack. Whereas with EQ, the common side effect is high blood pressure. And that's something that just, it should be avoided at all costs. And I cannot recommend it. I, I just, I would never recommend that to anybody. You know, the other thing that guys claim that it does next to big veins and being more vascular is it caps the shoulders out so much more. I mean, I, I think that that's just stupid. It's just ridiculous. There, I mean, it's not worth it. It's not worth messing around with. Mostly because of the blood pressure issue, you know? And there's just so many other better options out there to get the job done. So that's it. I mean, that's my opinion on equipoise. I, I didn't see any positive benefits from it. Oh, it, it also did cause um, libido issues because my blood pressure was so high that caused issues, you know, with blood being able to, to get down there for me for things to work, you know, because that's 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 a side effect of high blood pressure. If your blood pressure is too high, you have a problem, you know, getting a heart on. That's that's part of it. And it, it's shit, you know. So, yeah, I, I'm just I'm remembering what life was like when I was trying to use that shit and it was just awful. That's my experience. You know, you can take it for what it's worth, um, but I've heard that happening to uh, uh, countless number of individuals. And um, even like talking with Jordan about it, you know, he's, he's the same way, he, he's totally against it. He doesn't think that it's a good idea. Um, he doesn't use it at all. He thinks that there's no place for it in bodybuilding. There's no reason to use it because we have so many other good drugs out there to use. So that's it. That's all I have to say on that. Um, yeah, I, I think if you guys are considering using that because it's going to make you more vascular and, and cap your shoulders, I think you need to uh, rethink about... <laughs> why you're choosing your drugs because that's a stupid reason you want cap shoulders work your shoulders out kill your shoulders and uh you won't have an issue with that you want to be more vascular quit being a fucking fat ass lose some weight and your veins will pop out that's what you got to do so that's it that's all i got to say on that um i hope that this video was informative and helpful to some of you guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you have any big questions, email me at chaseirons at gmail.com. However, if you're gonna email me, make sure you are a member of my channel. I have an unlimited email subscription that you can do and I will answer any and all emails that you send to me. If it's a small question, leave a comment and I can handle that in the comments section. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching this video. Remember, nobody cares. Train harder, and I will see you all tomorrow.